Accused of shooting and killing a Tyler teenager was in court today, hoping to have his bond amount lowered. 35 year old Seferino Batista Renteria is charged with first degree murder in the death of 19 year old Raleigh Sanchez. It happened July 4th as the victim's vehicle passed by Batista's auto shop. As Scale TV 7's Alex Weister reports, the judge said no. Austin Reeve Jackson has denied a bond decrease for Seferino Bautista Renteria. Renteria is facing a first degree murder charge along with four other charges. A bond set at $4.7 million was challenged by Renteria's defense, stating that cases of higher severity have gotten less and asked for a bond to be set at $500,000. I mean, looking at the case law, it's, it's all for say that. You know, bonds in six, seven figures are almost presumptively oppressive as a matter of law. Video was shown in the courtroom of the incident on July 4th that led to the death of 19-year-old Raleigh Sanchez. In the video on screen, it can be seen the vehicle making the U-turn in the back area of Bautista Auto. And as the vehicle drives away, shots can be seen fired, striking the truck in the eventual fatal shot to Sanchez. Renteria's family can later be seen going out and searching the ground with their phone cameras. No 911 call afterwards, this person attacked me. Instead, which really shows the intent of this, is that he gets his kids that he cares so much about to go and pick off the rounds, to tank for whatever it is. That's what happened in this case. Both families were in attendance for the hearing. Prosecutors say no decision on what sentence they will push has been made. Renteria's family declined to comment, but in speaking with the Sanchez family, they expressed how hard it has been without their son. This senseless act could have been avoided, and we would not be here. We would have our son. We would have the opportunity to watch him coach baseball. His sister would would have the opportunity to have him walk her down the aisle when she gets married. We don't have that. We will never have that. Alex Weister, KLTV 7 News. Ontario's wife is charged with hindering the investigation. October 29th is the next court date. This defense spoke briefly off camera to us, stating they believe that he's innocent and they plan to defend the allegations.